Welcome. I'm excited to be with you here today as we walk through um, setting up the back end of your WooCommerce store. Chances are um, I've just installed this for you and it's time to go in and kind of talk about the things that you need to go in and set up. So when you get to your back panel with the dashboard, these are the different things on the side, you'll click on WooCommerce and then click on Settings. Now once you're here, we'll start with the general. Um, just a couple of things. You'll want to choose your location. So for example, I'm in Utah, so I would just change this to Utah. That's where my company is at. Um, at this point, I'm going to sell to all countries. So you can kind of go through. These are pretty easy. I use the US dollar, but there are different options for different countries. Currency position, number of decimals, two. Save changes. That one's pretty easy. The next one that we're going to want to try it look to look at would will be tax. Now this depends and varies state to state. Um, it it also depends if you're selling only digital products or if you are also selling products that will be shipped. So to enable the tax and tax calculations, you click here. And then you can choose either I will enter prices inclusive of tax or exclusive of tax. Usually this is the option. Um, but the great thing about WooCommerce is there are these little um, question marks that you can hover over. And for example, it says this option is important as it will affect how you input prices. Changing it will not update existing products. So you'll want to go through this before you start adding products to your store. Most of the time I think people would just enter the price of the products and then let tax be se um, figured separately. You can calcul calculate tax based on the shipping customer's shipping address, billing address, or the shop base address. Um, again, you can hover over things, and, and these are all important things to research. They're not answers that I can give you because each business is going to be different. But you can kind of go through and use the little question marks and when you are done with that, you'll click Save Changes. And here you've also got standard rates, reduced rates, zero rate rates. So you can click through each of those and see if they apply to your business. Um, under Checkout, this is just, you know, enabling the use of coupons. If you want to calculate coupon discounts sequentially, um, you can kind of read about that and see if it applies. This is, you can enable guests to check out without creating an account. If you want to force a secure checkout, you can choose this one. For that, you will need an SSL certificate that's required. If you are using PayPal and PayPal only, you do not need an SSL certificate. But if you are going a different route, you may want to look into that. Um, a lot of this is already set up. Um, from the beginning, so you don't really need to worry about that. Down here, you can choose your different ways. Um, I always put PayPal at the top, and because I don't deal with a check, I just disable that. Let's see, I think, I think, oh, you just click on it to disable, and then it will give you the different options, so to disable. So you can kind of look through those and see which ones you want to use. Um, go back to check out options. And again, move paper out and then save the changes. And the last one we're going to look at is shipping. And this, if you are only doing digital products, you won't even need to worry about this. So you would, um, well, you would worry about this because you would set it up here to take off this. Um, let's see, I, there's a way. Um, oh, I thought there was a way. I think perhaps if you leave all of these blank, then it doesn't enable any of the shipping. Um, 
oops, and save those changes. And then of course, if you do do shipping, you'll want to work through each of those. And I clicked the wrong button. Okay, um, and, and those are kind of the main things for this portion of it. Now, oh, except I did forget, we there is a way to set up PayPal, but I'm gonna address that in a different video. So for just the basics, um, and you can look through these different ones. You can also customize your emails that when a customer buys something, the email that they received is here under emails. And you can put, you know, the from and the email address, and you can even change up the colors. You can add a header to put your logo into it, things like that. Um, so that's this section right here. And that is all for this lesson.